Hey everyone's Dave here and welcome to you boat the Silent Wolf Overview. Well the last time I was on that ship I was infiltrating it in Medal of Honor, it sank and then I was rescued by Nazis to go incognito as a French revolutionist to destroy them like that game had a whole plot but this is not what is it about today we're gonna lean more into the actual steering of the boat <laughs> so you boat the silent wolf is a sea submarine simulator game where you immerse yourself into the inside world of the actual shipment faithfully control its ancient systems fight with other vessels outside and make sure you're the one last standing at first it would look like something kind of a job simulator -ish moving around, adjusting and switching some controls, though it specifically states that you can play a variety of modes. If it's the actual single player story campaign, co-op, free roam, like it seems to be not only just a boring ass simulator where not much is going on, but like the developers give you an access to pretty much every aspect of U-Boat. I don't very much like the graphics, it seems a little bit too bland. Even the outside world with the land and the terrain, it doesn't seem pleasant. I guess the whole appeal could be that you can play it with other people. We're not gonna do that in this video because I just can't. So we essentially have to see. There's like a mediocre level of excitement. If I wanna be inside it, I would just load the Medal of Honor and I think I would be much more satisfied. That we'll see, like anything can happen. Let's enter the submarine. Why am I in a court? I hereby open hearing number BV-13D in the case of the captain of the German U-boat. Sir, you are known for your courage and loyalty to the Reich. Your accomplishments on the world seas were appreciated by Kriegsmarine commanders. You have fulfilled every order with precision and devotion. But that same dogmatism for the German Reich's ideas has brought you to this court. Sir, please tell us in detail how your duty and service began. And what was your relation to the captain? <laughs> what the? Hey you, cadet! It's your first real assignment after the Academy, isn't it? Good. Let's teach you something real. You will be our helmsman today. As you see, it's a brand new U-boat Type 7C. It has some improvements. Let's see how it runs. Come on, go up the ladder. We have a lot of work to do. I mean, it is gutter. Don't make me wait for you or I pick someone else to take this honor. But I honestly expect it worse. I mean, this environment is just, I know, with the bland textures and stuff like that. And why this ship is so flat? Let mechanics start the diesel engines. Use engine order telegraph. Full ahead. Cool, but that was also the blackout transition. Yeah, get to work. Full ahead, soldier. The course is 10 degrees port. That vessel on the horizon. Grab the steering wheel. Get us out of the harbor. Oh, it starts moving. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I expected. We're literally going to be steering this. Take a look at your watch. Time will pass faster. And this baby straightens out automatically. Oh, what the <laughs> I mean, I would like to be around. It will take less time if you use a watch. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, like that. Our order is to sink that vessel. It was bombarded and now is blocking away out of the harbor. How fast can we go? <laughs> Yeah, I wish ships would be that fast. Holy! I mean, I don't necessarily like the discrepancy between the land and the water. It just does not look nice. The water has some texture, but the rest is just so bland. And this button works like only a couple times. We need to sink that rubbish. It's blocking our warships. Shoot it a few times with the deck cannon. We don't want to waste a precious torpedo on that. Go on, we must send that ship to the seabed. Native VR Games needs to stop with the blackouts. Do the honors. Use valves to adjust the distance and pull lever to shoot. How do I know if it's the right angle? <laughs> okay, so this is shooting. I don't really know what's changing. This is definitely the angle, but... Yeah, that's too high. Is there an indicator? We missed. Oh, really? I'll just shoot straight. Thinking. Wait. Silence on board. Can you hear it? It doesn't sound like our measure Schmitz. Enemy planes. Watch out. Destroy them with this machine gun or take cover. Oh, there's just a trigger. No, 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 no. No bumps here. Oh, shit. Oh my god, this gun. Nice. 
must have seen our shots and got Cookie out of support town anti-aircraft defenses. Cookie? Wow, and you are not full of bullet holes. That alone is a great job. I like you. <laughs> Seems like we're safe now. Nonetheless, they did some minor scratches on my baby. Let's go back and see if everything's all right in support. We have a few days until the next task. Supplies of what? Oh, we have like exploration? Ah, yes, come in. I hoped you slept well after our party yesterday. It's normal to celebrate, but don't get used to it. You will probably never see home again, as many of good men you seen last night. I need your stamp over there. I like you and I trust you. <laughs> During the next mission, I'll show you all of the core systems of the U-boat, so you can take over in case of failure. I love the ambience. <laughs> Granted, there are some frame skips. I don't know if it's due to the you recording. Have to confirm every order you take. I don't make the rules. We sail out in a day. After repairs and last checks, it will take us a day to reach coordinates from the order and proceed to test dive the first patrol, if we don't die before that. <laughs> I love his optimism. Sir, so, we're at the designated location. We're fully prepared for the test drive sequence. Sir, good. Perfect timing. Come on, officer. Get down to the control room and proceed with dive sequence steps. I'm after you. Oh. Hey, watch your steps. It's all wet. Better grab this wet ladder with your hands so you can get down safe. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot. Reporting all day sunny, sir. It's time to flood the main ballast tanks. Prepare to dive. Ready to dive. Bananas. You, strong guy. Open the ballast tanks to fill them with water. Better use both hands. It looks heavy in this model. Take it fully open. It's flooding slower than in previous models, but instructions say it's gonna close itself under the pressure. German engineering at its best. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, because we need to sink, so we need water. <laughs> I'm learning something. Sir, good. Ballast tanks full of water. We've settled on periscope depth. Now, let's see if we can withstand the pressure. Officer, take control over the depth steerings. Use just the left plane wheel to start changing our depth. Right one will make us tilt a little more and dive a little faster. Can you see the depth meter? We're slowly going down. Good. Let us sink to 160. Speed up the time with your watch. Switching from diesel to electric. <laughs> 50 meters. Let's push the limits, but let's not push our luck today. Let's aim to beat 160 meters and hold off on testing the maximum depth of 230 meters. Test diving! Tick tock! 100 meters! <laughs> Russia will always find some weak spots. 
Let's just assume we're safe up to 160 meters. Use that pump to get rid of the water. That's actually the real sound of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a simulator after all. Am I doing something? Also, where is it pumping? I guess to the ballast tank. Let's go back to the surface. Blow compressed air to the ballast tanks, cadet. Valve is over there. Good. Now the ship is surfacing. It all seems very realistic. But I'm also like... Impressed that I will get some knowledge from this game. <laughs> They got them button. 50 meters, sir. We've received and decoded updated orders. No coordinates are on the map. We need to get there fast. It's a damaged British vessel. Perfect target for our new torpedoes. Oh, okay. Orders are orders. Let's see the new coordinates. Pull down the map. The what? Uh oh Wait for the engines to switch. We've received the order to track down and sink the British battleship in this area. Mark the route with these pins. Attach one to the objective mark. Use the pin to mark the objective. I hope you pick the right location. Pull that lever. You will feel like time passed faster. Use the lever. We need to reach the objective fast. I don't think that's how it works in real life, but it's convenient. Skip, we've reached the target location. Good. Go up to the conning tower. From there, we can target the enemies and launch torpedoes. Okay, officer. I'll need you to lock onto the enemy using the attack periscope. Can you see the ship? Can I adjust it? You can use that valve or the right controller to look around. Zoom and periscope height and viewfinder are all adjustable. Can you see the tanker? Yeah. Run the measuring sequence by pressing the button. Remember to make the calculations three times, otherwise we may miss. to see the target and get their speed and distance. Okay, signal is back. You can see current estimated distance and enemy speed on the torpedo data calculator to the right. Check it a few times to be more accurate. Select torpedo tubes from the panel below. If calculations are correct and the periscope is aimed, you can use that lever to launch the torpedoes. Oh, it's a speed. Yeah. Launch! If 
calculations are correct and the periscope is aimed, you can use that lever to launch the torpedoes. If calculations are correct and the periscope is aimed, you can use that lever to launch the torpedoes. Load torpedoes! Torpedo mechanics, prepare the tubes! Schneller! We're safe here, but not for eternity. Launch! Look at the tactical map on the left. You will find the position of torpedoes and your enemies on it. Okay, but I need to stop here. Um, it's very interesting, actually. <laughs> I expected some gutter stuff, but if I look past the graphical aspect, then this is a really good simulator. Even for someone like me, who never swim with those types of ships, I only caused mayhem and destruction in the Medal of Honor, but nothing besides that. I love the ambience, the accents, some movements could be a little bit more complicated, like the climbing. I get it though, it's just to make the experience seamless without additional physics stuff. I didn't expect this to be like a full-on campaign and getting to know the U-boat itself. It seems very much on a bigger scale as well, because we steer it, we shoot the flying planes, like launch torpedoes, literally everything we can do here. <laughs> so if you can look past the gutter graphics outside, because inside it's pretty swell, then you'll be very much satisfied because you really feel like you're there just steering this whole ship. <laughs>